I'm gonna work on this sign. That makes me nervous. The first word. The first word in windshield installation parts. What does that even mean? This one just, this one don't say that, but it's the same company. Me, me, me. Is that heavy? back everyone welcome to orange wires garage if this is your first time tuning in my name is mike and this is the story of the 1969 ford f100 that we decided to rescue from the farmer's field a few short months ago in the last episode we finally finished painting this cab we've been working on a few things on the inside we've got our door seals in 100 percent we got our fuel tank in we got it all hooked up. We're getting close, close, close on the inside of this truck. So we probably should have already had this done, but what we want to do is we want to change out all of these hard lines. We got a new proportion and valve. We've got a few things. We've got some new rubber lines. We want to get the brake lines 100% taken care of. Those things are really, really important. And so in this episode, we're going to do all that. And we're also going to try and put the carpet in on the inside because we got some brand new carpet we're getting everything kind of buttoned up then we're going to start on that bed and everything is going to look amazing so let's stop talking about it and let's drain this brake fluid out of this thing we'll get started on the brakes and see where we go from there really good investment $65 for that hardline kit and it came with all the sizes that we needed to go ahead and get all of the hard lines changed on this truck so everything is looking absolutely phenomenal gosh we're just super excited we'll see you at the rod run let's get to work And then we changed out the hard lines that come all the way back and all the way back here at the back. But we still need to order this little rubber line. We're gonna get them all changed out. Why don't we go ahead and get rid of those cast iron manifolds while we're doing such a good job. Let's get these headers put on and get it ready to get some exhaust. Get it ready to keep going back together.
Alrighty guys, it is the next day here and we got these headers put on. It turned out very, very nice. We think we'll probably run like a two and a half inch pipe all the way out the back. If we do put them up there, it'll be a little short cherry bomb, glass pack. This thing will sound really, really awesome. We don't know if we showed you this beautiful seat. Finally got it out of the house. I've been sitting on it every day pretending that we was up in the truck. That is finally turning out just like we want it. And what we're going to do next is we are going to attempt to rope this back glass into this truck. Never done it. We might break it. Who knows, but we're going to give it a shot. We're just having a really hard time getting somebody to come out and do it here. We can take it some places, but as y'all know, it's hard to trailer it around everywhere. So if we can get the back glass in, we might attempt the windshield. If not, maybe we'll find somebody or trailer it out. So let's stop talking about it and let's start working on it and put that glass in. So how you feeling now? Oh. Is it going? I mean, it's going. It's going. But, like, it's, it's hitting the lip. I just don't know. Like, I feel like you need to kind of push down on the top. I need to readjust. So if I can stand up on this frame, I'll push on it. So how you feeling now? Yeah. Gotta go to the other side again. Oh, I like that. Wish I had a rope at the top. Yeah. The only way to get the rope at the top is to work it from the bottom. Right? Yeah. If this is this hard, imagine what the windshield would be like. You, you, oh gosh, yeah, I felt it go. I felt it go back yeah, that way. It. I got it. And I got that around. Oh God. I'm about to push that sucker off. There we go. I'm going to go to the other side. I got it. Yeah, we're definitely probably going to have to find us somebody to do that windshield, dude. <laughs> so you still feeling pretty good? I think so. So can you hold it? I want to spray some more soap. Yeah, I can hold it. Maybe it's working through to you. No, you're good. La, 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 la. That helped, believe it or not. Yeah, I bet it did. Can you put a little pressure right there? Just a little bit. Is that good? Yeah, it's good for now. <coughs> I'm gonna work on this side. Right there, we need to close that gap. Close the gap. Ooh. All right, come mm -hmm. on. Yeah, work the seal out, man. You see what I'm talking about? You feeling it? Yeah, it's getting tight. There we go. Look at that. It should it should fall right into place now. Look at that, Caleb. You, you have officially put a glass in. How does that make you feel? Oh wow! How'd that make you feel? Uh, you, have you ever heard? I'm about to the end of my rope. Yeah. That's where I am. Like it, it needs to be pushed on to go on up and in there. On the push down? Like, I can't really tell you. Like, is that gasket on top? It's sitting like it's supposed to. It, oh, that felt like it. Like, 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 bump that gasket. Just, that felt like it a million dollars. Oh my God, it looks so good. That's, oh, that is it, man. <laughs> that is it. In. Heck yeah, man, and we didn't break it. Wow, sheesh. You got any Windex? I'll clean it.
Alrighty guys, we jumped on this back glass. We was able to save the original back glass to this truck. 54 years old, we put the gasket in. It looks really good, OEM. We jumped back over here to the shocks, put brand new shocks on here, made it nice and stiff. And we also started working on the door panels and these door armrests right here. These are original as well, but I don't believe these are gonna make it back in the truck. We may have to buy some new ones of these. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna jump back over on the door panels, get them all scuffed down, get the paint off of them, get them primed and get them ready to paint. So let's get started. thinking I'm thinking two of two see how much it goes or we could go three and three and I can see Just like that, we had some 50 year old door panels that had 17 different colors on them. And now they just got some of that good old U-Pole 2K primer. So these things are looking really good. Tell us what y'all think. We're thinking about painting these white to go inside just to contrast all the green and all the black. And then we're, we've got the little strip that goes around the top. We're thinking about painting that white. So let us know in the comments what you think. We also worked on the front end of this thing a little bit. We picked up a brand new drag link for up under there. And we picked up a couple of new tie rod ends. We got a new Pitman arm. We got the whole front end of this truck. It's ready to go. It's raring to go. And we can't wait to get it going. I think we ran out of time for this video, guys. But don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Orange Wires Garage. We always post there before you too. If you like this video and you like content like this, drop us a like. It really helps us out. A special thanks to all the subscribers. We'll catch you guys next time. We're out. Um.